Mixing him up with Wizrobe, I know, as Gaunt Pika. Yeah. He's attempted it against Yeah, I'm Kirby not sure like if Prince has. And KD3 going puff again after he, uh, he had a close set with Wizrobe. Had one game where he won pretty handily, and then, uh, let's see. Elected for the air game, of course. I think, uh, don't wanna don't wanna stay on the ground too much with Puff. One shield break means your stock. Oh, and KD3 just barely doesn't make it to top plat. And you see Prince with the upper hand here. Both these characters have pretty notif uh, notable differences between J version and U version, right? Between yeah. Between when Yoshi's armor breaks and like For how sure. strong Puff's rest is. Yeah, absolutely. And both of those things are so uh, crucial in many matchups. For sure. So they kind of both have buffs, actually, yeah. uh, in this. And uh, sometimes I wonder if we'll see that matchup happen at all where uh, we could, where he he rests, breaks armor. Because, like, rest will break earlier in in U version, but... Er, sorry. It's like it, the armor breaks later, but rest is stronger. Exactly. Right. So I wonder, actually, how it works with whether or not rest breaks earlier. Right, I don't, like I don't know the answer to that. Out. Oh, and the egg into up air. We love those. Clean. And KD3 had a very close set with Wizrobe, too. So. And gets that grab. There it is. And no Wispy, no Wispy. Good Wispy. He was looking the other way. Didn't even notice what happened. Yeah, so actually, the way Wispy works is if anyone is grounded when Wispy, the Wispy RNG trigger goes, mm -hmm. it Wispy will turn only if someone is grounded on that side of the stage. Otherwise, it'll just stay the same face or face the same direction rather. Which is and the always jab. right by default. Yeah, or always right by default. Did last. Okay. Yeah, right at the start. Yep. And wrong way though. 64% gonna live. And it just stinks when you miss that because now, like, rest isn't really on the table unless yep. you get an up tilt. Oh, I thought he was gonna go for it there. Last set. Uh, oh, we're gonna see ooh. shield break? Nope. But hit, will ooh. he still take it? Yep. And kind of recovers. Yeah, he was able to, like, take advantage of that uh, position he was in. Less that. Kitty 3 saying, getting a little uh, aggro. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was going to say that uh, it can be kind of good for Yoshi to get hit by some puff dares, right? When you're arming through it yeah, to gain was... some damage to get out of rest combo percent. Do you think that's like a viable strategy or is it just kind of I blacked like a... out. Can you say it again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when KD3 played Wizzy, Wizzy would armor through a bunch of dare hits from Jigglypuff and right. it would rack up his damage. I don't know how intentional it was because I think if you take some damage with no knockback, then it'll be harder for Puff to get those bread and butter like rest combos on you. Right. Uh, so it can be kind of good to take some collateral damage here and there. Yeah, yeah. I wonder. Know. Yeah, I wonder if he was gaining damage on purpose or not. I'm not sure, but maybe like if you're at a certain percentage where you can kind of pass a threshold where right. forward air won't or forward throw rather won't uh or up throw as the melee is called. Yeah. And good grab at the ledge. KD3 switching it up. Not able to. Uh, so me, me and KD3, uh, obviously, I, I, I play Yoshi, and we did a, a bunch of different matchups. Um, but usually he was kind of thinking of going uh, Kirby for the uh, Yoshis. Yeah. Um, but first we see Puff, and then we see Falcon. And down a quick stock with Falcon. KD3 has an excellent trifecta between Falcon, Kirby, and Pika, and that's why it's almost surprising to see him put a lot of time into Puff, but then his Puff is just incredible, so it just works out. Yeah. And see, I don't really do those eggs at the ledge, so KD3 doesn't doesn't have, uh, at least versus me, I should say, it right. did not want to run off there, unfortunate. Might pay with it for, with his life. And we see Wizard or, uh, Prince with a different type of combo than Wizrob, you know. Wizrob would have up smashed a lot earlier in that yeah. sequence. Um, but he kind of likes to do this chain of nares. Goes up the top plat a little bit. And this is just like a bang bang uh, matchup. You know, this will be over. It should be over quick. And Armors through the first hit with a forward air. Some good DI here from Prince. KD3 hesitated for a sec. He wasn't like, is he going to land on plat or not? And he gets the up air hook. No jump. Dead Prince. Okay. Hanging on and ledge, ledge bros, yeah. yeah. I mean, you have. Oh, and the down tilt with. And that egg maybe kind of let him get back, but then he edge guards for safe measure. And great uh, surprise down tilt at the ledge. 
fifteen percent from that up air. KD three lucky he wasn't way. able. Yeah, KD three was lucky he wasn't able to follow up from that. And great DI from Prince. The down air he, he tries to read the tech in place. I think gets caught trying to grab a parry. No jump. Yep. Great egg, and before you know it. Prince just on roll. So think about the the time it took for KD3 and Wizrobe set versus that one. You know, 